Do you want any butties for your dinner you'll have to make them yourself? You all right? No, I feel sick. I reckon it's that like chicken that we had last night. Do you feel funny? No, I'm OK. <laughs> I reckon I've got a stomach ulcer. Well, I think you'd know about that if you had. Would I? You need a tonic. Pick me up. An holiday. We ain't got any money. Go and see the doctor, he'll sort you out. Oh, I daren't. He might find something wrong with me. Like what? I don't know. I can't eat this. Then you better go and see the doctor. And I'd better get my skates on. Go and see the doctor, eh, Jude? Judy, eh? I'll see. Thought you'd been quiet. I'll see you at tea time, all right? And you'll go and see the doctor. I'll see. I love you. Ta-ra. Doctor. That's what it is. I'm pregnant. Gary! 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 What? What's the matter? I'm pregnant. How do you know? I just do. I've just realised. Oh, no. Take it easy. I am. I know. And you know that's very unlikely, don't you? Once before, when I thought I was pregnant, I told my mum and she said, well, do you feel pregnant? And I didn't know what she meant because I didn't. But now I do know what she means because I feel pregnant. Oh, no, Judy. Don't you think we'd better have some tests before you start getting excited? Well, we'll do one. I've got one inside. What, at home? I've had it months from before when we were trying. Come on. Well, I've got to get to work. Well, that don't matter. How long will it take? A few seconds now. Come on. Hi, Jim. What about you? You OK? No, I never better. You stink. I do not. You do? Of booze. Jim, you can't drive like that. You'll be breathalyzed. Elizabeth, look, I might have a hangover, OK, but I'm certainly not drunk. Yeah, but you can still be over the limit. Look, can I tell you something? I have a job to go to, and I'll tell you this, and I'll tell you no more. I'm not walking. Right. Well, just ring him and tell him you'll be late. Get some coffee inside. Me late? I won't be late. You'll be late. No, I won't. I've got five minutes. I'll make the coffee. Oh, come on, Elizabeth. I worry. Is there uh, any more tea in that pot, Jack? How do I know? What do you think? I'm psychic. No, no. I mean, it's just that you're nearest to it. I was only going to suggest I brew another, that's all. Tell me, does it not bother you knowing that you're smoking yourself into an early grave, eh? Me? No, no, no. No, fit as a flea I am. Always have been. <laughs> have one, if you want one. <laughs> I don't want one. I know you do. I don't, but I'm just going to handle one. Just so I, I know for a fact that I definitely don't want one. You can light up if you want. <laughs> just as long as you know it'll cost you 50 quid. Not even tempted, Ali. Mm -hmm. Of course, some people find that helpful, you know, you know, to uh, pretend to smoke, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, just have something in their hands, sort of thing. You know. Mind you, there's nothing to replace that kick at the back of the throat, is there, when you inhale? Is there, Jack? All right, all right, you can have your 50 quid, but you're going to have to have it in instalments and not a word to our Vera, dear. Do you know I can't let you out my sight for two minutes? Do you want to die, you daft Look, beggar? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Willpower. It was his fault. He's been egging me on. Nah, it wasn't me. That's it. New house rules in here. No smoking at meal times. No <coughs> arguments. Oh, hey. Well? So the blue line will appear in square box if I'm pregnant. I don't want you to be disappointed. We know it's a long shot, don't we? We should have started looking into adoption. Shh. How long does it take? 20 seconds. Who do you think the best people will be to... Shh, Gary. For the adoption, I think there's uh, social services. Yes. Digging. Yes! I knew it! Yes! Oh. 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 What if it's wrong? It can't be. Have I done instructions? It said it can be the other way. You can say that you're not pregnant when you are, but not this way around. Can it mean anything else? No, Gary. 
I'm pregnant. I'm expecting I've got a baby in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I told you that. I knew they said that you always know. Oh, my God. Oh, Judy. <laughs> We're going to have a baby. Oh, Judy. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Steve. Yeah, it's just a second left. He'll be with you any minute, yeah. N no, we slept in. Alarm didn't go off. <laughs> yeah? All right. See you later, Tara. I don't have got work, do I? Yes, cos we're gonna have three mouths to feed again. <laughs> On it, this time it'll be our own baby. Our own baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Now you better I'd go to the doctor's. Yeah. I'll ring him right now. And I'd best get off. Okay. See you later. See you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Day in, day out, was well bored, and that's what kids give you. So be warned before you and the hands start wishing the flaming well warned me. Oh, hiya. Yeah. I was just telling Nick that Oh, just... look, Zoe, I'm sick of hearing about your baby, all right? Hi. Don't speak to her like that. Well, where were you last night? Hey. Me, Mum and Dad, like I said. Have you seen my purse, Zoe? I've lost it. I went round there more than once. Well, maybe I was out having a drink with friends. You know, them people who don't talk about you behind your back. We weren't talking about you. What were you talking about, then? It was boring. It was... It was just old family stuff. You're not a right good liar, are you? I'm not lying. Right, Rachel will be wondering where I am. See ya. Are you coming back tonight? See ya, I'm fixed. Flaming doctors. They're not happy till they've taken away every last pleasure you've got. Look, keep still. Get on with it. Got a lovely belt, Jack. I am not interested. Apart from the blackheads. Look, why don't you let me put it on my arm like it does in the picture? You know why? Cos you'll only rip it off once you start fancying a fag and putting it out of reach, out of temptation. You've got no faith, Phil. That's right. And listen, if you smoke with that patch on, you'll overdose and you'll kill yourself. Right, put your shirt back on. <clears throat> what a swine. When will we hear anything? Any time. I assume Frankie Stillman will ring Mike from the Court of Appeal as soon as she knows anything. Ian, he's got his nicotine patch on now, so don't you go tempting him. Him? He doesn't need any tempting. Look, one whiff of a cigarette, he could overdose. And I'll hold you responsible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah. It is. Oh. Listen, I'll be with you in a minute. All right, see you later. Okay. You drink. All right. <laughs> Did you get to your job over here? Aye. Now you're back drinking again? Yes, looks like it. Jim, you've got to start looking after yourself. I'm having a pint at lunchtime, OK? Yeah, but it won't just be one pint at lunchtime, will it? You should be out there looking for jobs. There are no jobs. Jim, you've got to pull yourself up. Uh, no jobs, not for the likes of me. Right. What about asking Kevin if he needs help at the garage? Have you thought about that? No, I haven't. <laughs> Dear, oh dear, the sights you see when you haven't got a gun. Well, it's a good job it's me and not Samantha, that's all I can say. No young lass should have that thrust upon her. Get lost, go away. Do you want me to give you a hand? Eh? Well, only I think you'd do right to try and take it off, because they don't work, you know, them patches, from what I've heard. Do they not? No, yeah, no. Yeah. Let me help you. Only uh, don't tell Vera I've helped you, right. will you? Oh, no, get off. You're not getting your 50 quid out of me, pal. <laughs> I nearly did this morning. Aye. Well, you won't now, because that patch is staying on there. Come hell or high water. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck's that? <laughs> That's wonderful news. The best. Hey, what, what's going on? Got the pills. Let Dave chat on bail. Oh, oh we've nice. just had word. But don't open the champagne yet. Wait till she gets here. <laughs> Whenever. <laughs> what are you doing in there in your best? Go get your shirt on your great head. <laughs> what's going on? Appeal courts let Deirdre out on bail. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me. Do you know what they're going to do to you yet? I've got to go and see the governor this afternoon. 
get your head down. Is it her? Yeah. What's she doing? She's on her way over. Right. Don't rise to the beast. Just water off the duck's back, know what I'm saying? Rashid, I've been looking for you. Good afternoon, Mrs V. Shut it! I want you to go to your cell and collect together anything you want to take with you. Take with her? Where? Out. You're going out. Oh, yeah. Like last time. I'm going to miss you. This had better be for real. Your solicitor's here. She's waiting for you. Well, go on, then. Deidre! Be lucky, girl. <laughs> Deirdre, is it true? Are they letting me out? Until the appeal, yes. And with the stuff they've got on John Lindsay now, I shouldn't think you'd be coming back here. I wasn't sure if it was real or not. He was formally charged this morning in the magistrate's court with bigamy, amongst other things. At last, the truth. A few formalities, then we can head off. There's a little reception committee waiting for you outside. Mike, Mr Barlow. Where is she? Who? Feach, the woman who came in with me. I don't know. Especially wanted to say goodbye to her. I think she left as soon as she brought you in. Yeah, well, I hope for her sake I never bump into her down at the supermarket or crossing the road. Forget her. You'll never see her again. She's the one spending the rest of her life in here, not you. Come on. Um, look, Zoe, I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you this morning. Yeah, well, you're gonna watch it, you do. Cos you aren't lodgers round here, not me. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I was just upset cos Leanne not coming home last night. No, oh, what's happened? She's just got the ump cos... Oh, it, it's too stupid to explain, really. Look, are you doing anything tonight? No, why? Well, I thought I could fetch in a takeaway for all four of us. You know, have a laugh, try and brighten Leanne up a bit. Yeah, great, OK. Then. Yeah. Actually... What? Well... Oh, you don't fancy going out with Ashley tonight, do you? Only it'd give me and Leanne a chance to talk. We'd babysit. I don't know. She's been dead irritable today. I don't know if I want to leave her. Do you know, I, I still can't believe all this has happened. One minute your life's normal like everyone else's, and the next you're somebody who spent time in prison. Deirdre? Is that him? You should like it in there, John. It's directly beneath the flight path to the airport. Come on. <laughs> I told you I'd get you out, didn't I? I promise. Oh, <laughs> I can never repay you for everything you've done for me. Everything everybody's done. Thanks, Ken. Well done, Frank. You a ah, you know, brighter already. I'll feel better when I've had a bath and a rest in a proper bed. Those are the only two things I want in the whole world right now. Well, you have a choice. I was looking forward to seeing you. I, uh, I think I'd rather stay with Ken. What, in that hole? If it's all the same. Well, yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. But I don't want you to think I'm not grateful, Mike, because I am. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well done, Frankie. Fantastic. Better head than you didn't, Rovers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is the last drink I'm ever going to have. Well, till Christmas. Christmas Eve, to be exact. Why Christmas Eve? That's what babies do. Doctor calculated. It's due on Christmas Eve. Everything goes as it should. Oh, it will, Jude. It will. Part of me scared, you know, having to go through with all that. You won't be on your own for one second, I promise. I can't believe I'm actually going to give birth. <laughs> what else did doctors say? Congratulations and uh, 
that the first three months are when something's most likely to go wrong. What go wrong? Most miscarriages happen in the first three months, so happen... we shouldn't tell anyone until we've got over that phase. Well, what did he tell you that for? Well, he just tells everyone that. But smile, eh? He also said that some pregnant women get extra sexy. Oh, yeah. So you better keep fit. Available on demand. <laughs> <laughs> We'll keep an ear out for her, won't you, when you've put her to bed? Because she's obviously not been 100% today. She'll be fine. You know, we appreciate this, thanks. It's a pleasure. Yeah, well, it'd have been better if Sharon went under weather. <sighs> Just have a nice time, all right? We will. See ya. See ya. See ya. Well? Right, I'm going to go and put Shannon down, and then I'm going to go and get a takeaway. And we'll have a nice quiet night in. And then I'm going to tell you what you want to know, OK? You sure you'll be all right here? It's not the most inspiring place in the world, oh, is it? Don't knock it, Mike. Compared to where I've been, it's a palace. Tea? Oh. Mike? No, I never drink the stuff. Right, well, if you know where we'll be if you change your mind. Mike, you have done enough. Honest. See you at the Rovers at what? Half seven? See you then. Bye. Bye. Well, everybody's looking forward to seeing you. Not as much as I'm looking forward to seeing them. Every one of them. Even Audrey. And them that thought I was guilty. Especially them. You've splashed out. Well, it's just to say sorry, really, for, um... Been a bit funny lately. Well, what is it? Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Oh, don't bother about her, she'll settle down. I've um I've met the man who killed my dad. And I had to check his name with my mum to make sure. She she doesn't know the rest. She thought I was just asking out of interest. Well, where did you meet him? <laughs> At college. He um came to give us a talk. They let him out to give talks? Yeah, I mean, I just... I just feel so angry. It's like I'm thinking about him all the time, just thinking what I'd like to do to him. I'll blame you. And just what he's taken from me. Why couldn't you tell me? I don't know, really. It... Well, I suppose it's because I wanted to try and deal with it on my own. I didn't want to bother you with it. That's why... I didn't tell my mum everything because I didn't want her to get wound up by it, either. Oh, Nick, you should have said... Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to go and see her. She's been grumbling ever since he left. Hang on. She's got to. Shall I pop round? Oh, no, I'd leave her. She's probably changed her mind. I mean, if she comes in here, she's only got to get people pointing and whispering, and nobody wants that, do they? I don't know why you think she would. No, what these doctors don't appreciate when they ban folk from smoking is the fact it puts years on them in stress and worry. I mean, look at your face. I mean, the day before yesterday, you were happy-go-lucky, jovial sort of cool. Now look at you. Gee, there's more lines than crew junction. Get stuffed. Oh, no, I think smoking's the lesser of two evils in your case. She's here! Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were hiding away! Yeah. Right, come on, get right. a champagne. Right, what can I get you, David? Yeah. Come on, Vera, get, get that cork off. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> nice to see you all. Oh, oh, wonderful. There we go. They're not in. All just babysitting and she won't leave the kids. And your mum and dad aren't in either. <laughs> Right, I'll go sift in the room. No, Nick. Go get Judy Mowat. Hey, Judy Mowat. Just go and get her and I'll phone an ambulance. Right. Mm. You know, <clears throat> the champagne goes right to my head. Well, it will do if you drink it by bucket load. <laughs> You've got a bit left. <laughs> you can have it. Mm. Don't want baby coming out with an hangover. Mm. Mm. I bet it has hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell's that? 
It's open! Judy, you got to come right now. There's something wrong with Shannon. What's up? Well, she's been sick and she's wailing and, like, hands and feet are cold. It's lovely to see you. Oh, no, thanks, love. Thank you. you. Good health, dear, dear, love. Oh, thanks, Jack. <laughs> Hey, I needn't have worried me, Dad, about the sort of reception I'd get. You never doubted it, did you? Mike, listen, I know I've said it a thousand times, but I can never thank you enough for everything you've done. I'm just pleased I was there to help. I don't know what else I can say. Just thanks. What's the matter with her? Can you not do something? Oh, What's the matter with that? Shh. He's not breathing. Are you sure you're not fair to go on a club? No, I don't know if I've got a body for the Chinese. That's how it else it stopped outside. <laughs> 